Hi guys, welcome back to Geeks Wargaming. Uh, so today I've just got a quick um, showcase um, video for you. Um, I've been working on an awful lot of um, projects over the past sort of year and um, realised that I haven't actually put anything up on the channel showing you. Um, so um, I'm probably going to start doing that a bit more so you can see what I've been working on. Um, so this is... Um, this is kind of in a bit of reverse order actually because this is actually the most recent thing I've completed and I've been doing stuff since like I say the start of the year so uh, you'll start seeing some of that stuff coming through as well um, but as you can see we've got the Invader ATV um, I'm currently uh, trying to update my uh, my Blood Angels force um, really enjoying using them at the moment uh, I know they're one of the weaker uh, Space Marine uh, codexes but um, I just like them. It's one of my biggest forces that I've got. Um, actually, I'm aware I haven't actually done a full army showcase uh, for my Blood Angels like I did with my Iron Hands. So uh, so maybe I'll do that. Let me know uh, down in the comments below if that's something that you want to see. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's bring this up to the camera so you can see what I've done. So as you can see, there's a slight um, kit bash um, conversion on the, uh, the back. Uh, so um, I find with this, I mean, obviously, you know, that's what it kind of looks like from the front and with the gunner on the back also having both of his arms on the uh, the gun, uh, it's quite a it's quite boring pose. There's nothing sort of dynamic to it. Um, I know there's a lot of people that don't like this model. I don't mind it, but like I say, I felt that it was just a little bit too static. So I wanted to just sort of change it up. So um, I decided just to swap out the arm. So... That arm is just sort of from the uh, the standard intercessor kit. Uh, I also decided to do a head swap on him as well. Uh, so again, that's just an intercessor head, uh, just to give it sort of a little bit more interest. I mean, fortunately with the Blood Angels, because of the, the yellow helmets, it does sort of break up sort of the whole colour uh, a little bit. But um, I thought, well, I wanted to just change out the head just to give it a little bit more interest and then put that gold shoulder pad on. I know it's not what you'd usually see one of the gunners wearing but again it's just for sort of an artistic thing really just to sort of break it up and then a little purity seal flapping in the wind um so again just to try and break up some of the color used uh, some black round uh, this sort of i don't know i guess that's sort of a suspension i guess pivot there if you were to think about it mechanically um and then just how it connects to the back there just put the back uh, the uh, rear axle I guess uh, painted that black a uh, bit of weathering across the whole model giving it some little scratches and there's some sponge chipping there's some actual painted on sort of scratches and highlights and things like that all the decals um, are, uh, are on there as well and then I've used some uh, pigment uh, I've got um, I can't remember what company it is but it's like a sort of a deserty sort of colour, I think it's called Gulf War Sand or something like that. So I tend to put that on um, on all the tyres of my uh, my bikes and, uh, and buggies and things like that, so they're all sort of uniform. Um, this was quite quite easy to paint. I painted it in sub-assemblies, uh, sub so I kept this top part off. Uh, I sprayed the entirety of the bottom without the, um, the driver or the gunner on. Uh, sprayed it all silver couple of uh, layers of sort of dry brushing, washes, things like that. Picked out some of the details. Obviously, you have to pick out the legs of the gunner, uh, sorry, of the driver. Kept all this front section off so I could paint that all separately because there are some sort of, you know, little buttons and dials and things like that in there. So I wanted to sort of keep that all separate. So stuck that on all separately. Painted the, the gunner all completely separate. Um, again, he's got some little... Um, buttons and things that you can't really see down there on camera but uh, they're all sort of picked out as well um, now with this um, in the list which I've currently wrote I want to try and get to some more tournaments next year and I think I want to try and use my Blood Angels um, so I'm I'm sort of trialing a few sort of different lists and uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be the Melter or if it's going to be with the, the Gatler, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be in the list. So I've, I've magnetised it uh, and it's a little bit... Um, with this pose, I made it a little bit more awkward than I needed to because uh, with this pose, I had to build this 
handle. Um, so this handle actually comes attached to the gunner's arm, so I had to cut it off. And then that's just a little bit of um, plastic rod uh, that I've put uh, as the actual sort of handle um, there. So yeah, I can sort of take this off. Uh, it's all magnetized on. If I get another one of these, I might actually try a slightly more dynamic. Uh, the only issue you've got is they're quite static legs, so you'd have to do some quite drastic cutting to try and get it into more of a position that uh, looks more realistic. But I've got the Gatler as well. It's all painted and uh, like a completely unprofessional YouTuber that I am. Uh, it's it's in the display cabinet, so. <laughs> You would just have to imagine what it looks like. It looks the same as that, but it's got a Gatling gun on the end. There you go. What more do you need? Um, so so that's it. Hopefully you liked it. Uh, let me know uh, your comments down below if, uh, if you thought that was nice. Um, that's it. There'll be more coming. So if you haven't already subscribed, uh, please do so. Give us a like, comment, uh, because we um, are... Uh, video upload schedule just recently hasn't been uh, that frequent so apologies for that guys youtube is really hating us at the moment so anything that you can do to support us would be greatly appreciated all you need to do for that is basically subscribe if you haven't already give us a like and uh, a comment and then uh, youtube will think oh people do actually like this channel and uh, you'll start seeing us again and then it's worth us making all the videos again, isn't it? So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.